Hey and welcome to the very first video of the week that uh, I'm going to be shooting every week, coincidentally. My name is David Wills with ProteaDVDs.com here. We're going to do something a little bit differently in uh, these videos of the week. Normally when I shoot, I'm all scripted. We have lights, we have um, microphones and everything's you know lit professionally and all that kind of stuff. The trouble with that is that you do all of that and it takes a long time, it looks really great, but if I had to look down the barrel of doing this every week and setting all that up, I probably wouldn't get it done. So I've made a commitment that I'm just going to do a video every week and with the comments below, if you are seeing this on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, if you can leave comments, that way this can be uh, a lot more interactive and you can kind of drive the... Um, uh, the discussion of what we're uh, what we're going to be going through. Anyway, you know, before I even start, I just want to say thank you. If you you might have just uh, found me a few weeks ago, maybe you guys have found me, you know, way back 20 years ago. I received an email this morning from a guy uh, in Silver Lake, uh, California, which is around the Burbank area, and he said, "You may not remember me, but you came out to my basement studio years and years ago and helped me out and did some magic with Cubase." And um, I can't uh, put a face on, uh, on the name. I just uh, responded in, uh, by email this morning. But I do remember that part of my life. And that was um, driving around the Southern California basin in my 1984 Camaro with the uh, T-tops out <laughs> and just going to people's places. And, you know, every, everybody's studio would be something totally different. And if I didn't know how to fix their problem at that time, I would go away and study that and just get better and better at this um, subject of uh, audio production and pro audio and recording and live sound and all, all this, this kind of stuff. So I am what you would say, I'm a lifelong learner and I believe you guys are too. The feedback that I get on emails every day is quite often people, um, well, I mean, there's a different different group groups of people. Some people have been doing this forever and ever. Some people are just getting started. But surprisingly, some people get started a little later in life. And I'd like to celebrate that with two things that have happened to me recently. Just a few days ago, uh, I received a package from England. And it's from a mate of mine. I've never met him, but Tom Cleland is over in uh, 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 in the UK and he said I've just finished a CD you've been a lot of help with me you know um, giving me the tools or whatever to be able to produce the CD can I send you the CD and I always love that and so this came from the UK along with a nice handwritten uh, letter here and uh, here is the CD now look at Tom right there. Doesn't he look very dapper with his uh, with his hat and everything? And the one on the back is just awesome. Tom, I don't know you, but I can see by your spirit there you're a, you're a wonderful man. And this is a CD that he's put together. It looks like with some worship songs on there. I haven't had a chance to to see it yet, uh, listen to it yet. Uh, it's just been in, uh, I only received this a couple of days ago. But when I look at Tom. I get chills, and here's why I get chills, is that I don't even know Tom, but the fact that I could be a part of um, him producing something, whoops, I put that on silent, this is totally live, right? Um, that, he could, that he could produce that, and I could be a tiny part of that, is just absolutely amazing and obviously Tom is a lifelong learner he's going to be doing this for a long time and anyway I just love that Tom I'm going to get a chance to have a listen to that later on today let me give you another example there's a gal uh, called Rosemary Clark and she uh, emailed me a while ago she's a volunteer at a local church and uh, she's well l let me let me tell you what happened she picked up the ultimate live sound school and uh, this is a, an email from her. It says, David, I just wanted to drop you a note to tell you I've listened to all the DVDs I bought from your company many times now and I'm learning something new every time, taking copious notes 
and getting better and better at running the sound for our small church. People are actually coming to me with big sighs of release saying the sound is so much, all caps, so much better than it's been in the past. Isn't that something? Quite a compliment and acknowledgement of all the studying that I've been doing on it. Not bad for a 60-year-old woman who, with absolutely no techie or electrical background whatsoever. I couldn't have done it without your videos. Thank you, Rosemary Clark. Uh, P.S. We have the PreSonus 24.4.2, and I'm looking forward to learning and using more of its capabilities. So, Rosemary told me her age. I wouldn't share the age unless, unless you told me. But uh, Ro Rosemary, who goes by the handle of Rosie the Mama, 60 years old. She didn't have any experience in this at all. In fact, uh, in other emails I've had with her, she's been helping out at, uh, at church, doing uh, property management, whatever, and I guess something went wrong with her knees or something, and now she needs to be kind of in one place, and she wants to serve. And so she looks over at the, at the sound console and says, hey, maybe I'll learn that. And now, why don't you show some of your... Your friends who have nothing, uh, who know nothing about audio, show them a PreSonus 24.4.2 and see how they'd freak, it, freak out about it. But not Rosie. She's like, okay, no sweat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn that. And she has. So two examples of people who are not spring chickens. I'm not. I'll be turning 55 in a few months. Um, people who are getting it done and just keep on going. And that's really what I want to foster in you as you go through some of these comments and you leave leave your comments I don't profess to know everything but I'm very curious guy if I can't uh, if I don't know what the answer is I'll look it up and then you know both of us will benefit and we'll be able to broadcast it out on this anyway I'm really really thrilled to be doing this um, uh, every week next week I'm going to show you my little home set up here. This isn't uh, per se what I shoot my videos on, but when I want to record my own songs, uh, I use this set up here and I'll give you a tour of that. And I think you'll be surprised that there's not a lot of equipment here and a lot of it's not that expensive. So I'm not this guy in this high tower sort of saying, well, you've got to have, you know, all of this really expensive stuff. I think you'll, you'll get an idea of how it can be done fairly inexpensively. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Before I leave, I want to do a shout out to my dad. Um, it is September 2nd here, which means it's September 3rd in Australia. And uh, on September 3rd, 1927, a really good thing happened. My dad was born. He's 89 years old today. I love you, dad. You're the best. And everything I've learned about being a man uh, uh, came from you. I really appreciate it. Um, and I guess that ties in very well that you don't have to be, um, you know, a 20 something year old, uh, 20 year old musician to understand this stuff. You can get started at any age and you can continue to learn uh, year after year. And boy, if I could be your partner in that, I'd really be honored. And maybe you'll be sending me uh, your CV or, or an email. Um, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next week. Be a lifelong learner and make it a great weekend. Ciao. Bye.